Hi guys, Ajitahi. Oh, welcome to Miraki Mini YouTube Hop. And for today's card, I've kept it very simple. I'm going to use this paid Miraki Paradise and some ink blending to create my card. I'm going to use my post-it tape to create a frame around my A2 card panel. And this is going to give a nice contrast between the ink blending and the frame. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I am pretty bad at ink blending and I don't really um, enjoy doing it because I always mess it up. But I have given myself a challenge that I have to nail ink blending now and uh, I'm going to start it with uh, some distress ink. I know ink blending with uh, distress oxides is pretty easy but I wanted that bright pigment for this particular card. So I decided to go with Distress Inks. So um, bear with me for this blotchy blotchy ink blending but uh, believe me I'm really trying hard and I'm going to improve if I, if I keep practicing. So I will stop speaking here, you see what I do, how I create my uh, red and orange ink blend over this Nina Solar White paper and once this is done I'll catch, catch you guys and we'll finish the card. So finally here we are, the struggle was real and now is the time to peel out this uh, post-it tape and this is so satisfying, it looks absolutely stunning and uh, the card is going to look very beautiful. I am so obsessed with this uh, combination and uh, let's see how it turns up and how does this white beautiful spade Miraki dies look on top of it. So I've cut all the three sizes and I'm going to just adhere them with some liquid glue. But before doing that, I'll allow the panel to dry completely and then I am going to use my anti-static uh, powder tool and some Versamark uh, clear ink. I'm going to use uh, one of the old, uh, old stamp sets from uh, Crafty Miraki and use the sentiment from it. So I'm going to use some gold embossing powder and heat emboss this sentiment. So this kind of contrast and uh, heat embossing over such beautiful panels looks really interesting. It adds a lot of interest to these simple cards and uh, you can totally avoid it. You can just stamp it with a black ink or white pigment ink as well. But I decided to go with golden embossing powder. So I used my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and that is all the shimmer this card needed. I'm going to keep it very simple and I'm going to use some uh, wet glue to stick these beautiful delicate floral uh, twigs. Uh, this is the Spade uh, Miraki Paradise and it's a must have in your collection. So you can do so much with these uh, dyes. Today I kept it simple and minimal but you can use Copic markers to color these beautiful uh, twigs and uh, that can be very beautiful as well so I decided not to add any embellishments on this card today and uh, it looks absolutely stunning so I had a wonderful time participating in this YouTube hop celebrating the Miraki mini new release so I would encourage you all to uh, visit all the hops and uh, do leave us uh, a comment and subscribe to my channel and subscribe to the crafty miraki channel and uh, do leave us a comment so that you can win a hundred dollar gift certificate from crafty miraki thank you so much once again to be a part and uh, uh, i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for stopping by take good care of yourself love you Bye bye